What's up everybody? Well today I'm here to bring you another full house cleaning to test vacuum cleaning performance. This time I thought I'd feature once again my Hoover Preferred. One of the second elite style uprights that I ever bought when I first started collecting vacuums. And this thing has been through quite a bit since the past few years that I've owned this. For one thing, if those of you who haven't seen any update videos on this vacuum, the motor that's in this is not the original. This is actually a new old stock replacement motor that I bought to put in this, along with a new old stock fan. The original motor that was in this, there was actually nothing inherently wrong with it, but what ultimately had me replace it was the original motor housing to the original motor actually disintegrated and got so brittle it actually busted right up, right in my hands when I took it apart. And this was long before I learned how to tear apart and rebuild one of these elite motors. So now that my knowledge of refurbishing these elites has evolved over the years knowing probably what I would have done I would have probably sourced out another motor that I could use the housing which actually is what I did to its original motor and I still have it it resides in another elite that's in my collection but now this has the new old stock motor and new old stock seven bladed fan and the brush roll I'm going to be running this is one that I just recently installed. It is a new used single row brush roll with full length bristles. If you can kind of make this out, it actually has full length of bristles and it doesn't have one missing right here in the center. This brush roll was originally designed for a Hoover Futura canister, the lower end models that would normally come with single row brush rolls rather than the dual row. But you will notice these brush rolls were designed to have the full length of bristles because on the Futura canisters, there's this one single ingest bar that runs across here. As you can notice, key indicated by a little bit of the wear marks on one of the bristles. But you do have the other bristle that, that comes right down here in the center, which normally that would, this would be cut out if you had like the three bar plastic sole plate on an Elite. So I thought since it has that extra bristle, I thought why not throw it in one of my Elites that has the four metal wire ingest bar bottom plate and see how it acts. So I'm pretty much going to use this as a test mule for that to see how I like it. And pretty much it's the same brush, single row brush roll as like the one I had in my Decade Soft and Light, although it has the, has the one with the cutout. And I already tested one single row brush roll that had the cutout in this bottom plate design, but I wanted to see if it makes any at all difference with that one extra bristle. Now, yeah, this is still a single row, so you can see there's obviously a blank spot. So, I'm kind of interested to see how this plays out. And also give this preferred some runtime, because I haven't used it in quite a bit, because I've been picking up a whole lot of other elites. But, with that said, oh yeah, also, brand new, genuine HEPA Type A bag installed. So, now that this is all cleared up, let's go ahead and get to full house cleaning with this. And so, away we go.
quick analyze of carpet lines. Groom's very, very nice. You could pretty much see in the grooming pattern that there is no single long line from the bottom plate design, which is pretty typical for these four wire cage bottom plates on these Hoover Elites. They, they, in my opinion, leave much better carpet lines. Even with the single row, single row roller in this with the full length set of bristles. And the bristles, I would like to mind you, are very nice and stiff. These white bristle brush rolls on these elites are probably the stiffest ones you could get. So the agitation is very good, I could definitely tell you on this, even with just being one row, one row of bristles. So agitates very well for what it is. So I say don't let the one row of bristles fool you. I've had these single row brush rolls perform to almost a near equivalent of a dual row brush roll. Well, although it might not pick up as much as a dual row, it still performs excellent. So let's go ahead and continue on. Yep, she's not too happy about this. But...
What follows is a brief construction montage. Okay, so I thought I would make a little side clip here to give you guys a uh, reassurance that the noise that this thing was making was cured. So it turns out, especially in the second and third vacuuming clips, when I would turn this thing on and there was this suspicious grind sound that would come right as it turns on. Well, I did also say at the beginning of the clip, this I had this before my knowledge of the elites and how to take apart the motor and rebuild it has evolved over the years. Well, apparently this was so early in my knowledge that when I put the new fan on this, I forgot to put the washer that sits in between the fan and the bearing on the front side of the motor. The front side is the one where the fan sits, by the way. But a washer was completely missing when I went to tear it apart, and the fan was riding so close that it was rubbing against the motor housing and causing the motor to run very hot. I'm surprising it didn't get so hot enough to the point that it almost melted itself to the motor housing, and that would have been a very bad day. But somehow, by the grace of God, he spared this thing, no, even though he's probably telling me that I have too many vacuums, but he allowed this thing to be spared so I can go back in, put in the a washer that I found in my parts bin, and this thing's fixed. So I'm going to give you one final run clip to show you that this thing's fixed and up and running and sounding properly. <laughs> Much better. Better sound when it's winding down. So I'm going to turn it back on again and make sure the fan hasn't stuck itself to the motor. Had that situation once on my Dimension Supreme. There we are. Very nice. We hope you enjoyed this brief construction montage. All right. And just like that, the full house cleaning is all complete. And the motor problem has since been fixed. Let's go ahead and check how much this thing picked up in those few runs. The rubber gasket on these genuine HEPA bags fit so well and have such a tight fit. And wow, just look at all that. Definitely there's a lot more towards the top. There's definitely quite a bit of fine dust mixed in there. Couple bits of pet hair and a lot of fibrous material from the downstairs rug. So I would say this is some very good results. Especially for being a single row brush roll. And so let's try and tuck this away as best as we can. For being a single row brush roll, even though it has a full length of bristles, that could be the reason why it performs that good. And the bristles very stiff so i'd say this thing works very good even with a single row brush roll but 
With that said, and despite the little motor incident, I hope you've enjoyed this full house cleaning of my Hoover Preferred with the single row brush roll. Be sure and stay tuned and don't forget to like, rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.